15 horrifying microscopic images. But first, thanks for leaving us a comment on our creepiest Google Earth images video and telling us that you've been there. Let us know which creepy microscopic image disturbs you the most and maybe we'll feature you in an upcoming video. Be sure to keep your bug spray a little extra close while watching this. Number 15, Hydrothermal Worms. Getting a microscope might seem like a cool way to learn about scientific things, but after looking at this up-close image of a hydrothermic worm under an electron microscope, you might think twice about getting one. This image was taken by Philip Crassou after zooming in about 525 times closer. Most people won't get the chance to see the real thing, luckily, because it's quite tiny. They're only found in hydrothermal vents in the ocean, deep below the sea. With those teeth, though, it really looks like some type of mutant shark. Number 14, Eyelash Mite. If someone told you this thing was living on your face at this very moment, would you believe them? Thanks to the invention of the microscope, now we can see up-close images of disgusting things, like this eyelash mite. You might not be able to feel them or see them, but rest assured, they're there. And they're in your eyelashes. Think mascara will make them go away? Think again. They also live in your hair follicles, buried head down, chomping away on your secreted oils. If that wasn't already gross enough, they also reproduce on your face, creating more mites. Don't worry though, everyone has them, and they're supposed to be beneficial. Number 13, Head Loose. Now these aren't so beneficial, and if you think you might have one, you really want to see a doctor or get some shampoo quick. This photo here was taken of a male head loose and was captured under a 10 times zoom. Head lice are wingless parasitic insects that spend their entire life on a human scalp and feast on human blood. Here in this image, you see the back of the neck of someone who was infected with these little parasites. Males and females are quite different, but both are creepy. Number 12, bed bugs. When someone said, sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs bite, they weren't exactly joking, because they're real, and they could be in your bed right now. These pests are more of a nuisance than a health hazard, but you certainly will suffer from insomnia after seeing one up close in a microscope. Bed bugs could be anywhere, in your hotel bed, on the headrest of your plane seat, and in the back seat of a taxi. These little creatures can live just about anywhere in your house, but prefer to come into your bed at night, right before you catch some shut-eye. Number 11, Blue Bottle Fly. It might look like a horrific monster that might want to eat you alive, but it's actually a blue bottle fly, and you could probably have a few in your house today. For these, you really don't need a microscope to see them, but they can grow up to a half inch. But if you want to see them look extra creepy, you're going to need a microscope for that. These insects often lay their eggs in trash, feces, and decaying meat. So once they're hatched, they have an immediate food source. Number 10, Filarial Worms. These tiny little squirmers are too small to see without a microscope. So don't worry, we got you covered. Needless to say, these things could really get under your skin. People become infected after they've been bit by a mosquito. This will cause things like your lymph nodes to swell and cause a buildup of fluid. For this one, you don't have to worry about too much if you're from the US. They tend to live in more tropical places, but you should probably still watch out. Number 9, the flat mite. Instead of eating our flesh like most of these mini monsters on this list, the flat mite will prefer to eat our crops instead. The biggest it can get is about a hundredth of an inch, so good luck trying to spot one. It gets the name as the false spider because it has eight legs, but don't spin a web, luckily. The body is often small enough to avoid detection from farmers and are often found in Florida, infecting crops such as grapefruits, lemons, oranges, peaches, and much more. In order to control this pest, Florida begins using sulfur to manage them, but this can leave toxic chemicals in our food supply. Number eight, scorpions. If you ever came across a scorpion before, you probably weren't at ease. But as do most things, they get much more creepy under a microscope. This photo here was taken at a high resolution under an electron microscope. The hairs that cover the scorpion's body are used to sense vibrations in the air and act as a balancing organ. They also have a very tiny small mouth that's basically used to suck up liquids. Number 7, Self-Assembling Polymers. Okay, this isn't a creature, but we thought we'd give you a quick break from all the gross stuff. This is actually an extreme close-up with an electron microscope of what's known as a self-assembly polymer. The hair-like fibers latch onto the green sphere as you see in this photo. 
Alone, each fiber is powerless, but as they latch onto the orb, they latch together and assemble, almost like it's a group of arms reaching out to the Earth. The image was taken zoomed in extremely high, measuring less than a micrometer. Giant Amazonian Centipede Okay, back to the crazy stuff. This horrific looking thing can actually measure over 30 centimeters and is known to eat lizards and frogs of the forest, something you really don't want to mess with. This species is found in places like the Caribbean as well as the Amazon and is a vicious carnivore. It's also developed a way to snatch bats from caves by climbing on ceilings of the cave. Here in this photo, you can see how dangerous one of these are while it's feasting on a mouse. Number 5. Maggots Of course, maggots are gross. There is no denying this. The vile little creatures are born inside corpses and eat decaying flesh. If your drill sergeant called you a maggot, you'd probably take more offense to this after seeing what it looks like under a microscope. Nature has brought scariness to an all new level in this photo. With the beady little eyes and sharp fangs, this has to be some type of vampire, right? We've seen what the blue bottle fly looks like once it's matured, but this is what it looks like when it's a baby. That's just a face no mother could love. Number 4. Your Tongue You use your tongue for so many things, but have you once taken the time to look at it close up? This creepy image was taken of a human tongue at a high zoom, and you probably could live without seeing what the parts of your body looks like under a microscope. But guess what? We're showing you anyways. The reason the tongue has such a creepy, scaly appearance is because your tongue is actually constantly shedding its top layer of skin. This other image here looks like someone hung up a bunch of tongues on a wall, but it's actually your tongue under a microscope. Creepy but true. Number 3. Bacteriophage So after watching this video, are you starting to think that science is just absolutely beautiful? Well, you probably haven't looked at bacteriophage under a microscope. These little organisms are actually viruses that attack bacteria, so it's something even bacteria is scared of. The one in the photo was injected into an E. coli bacterium. The tail contracts and it punctures itself into the cell membrane of the bacteria. Scientists are hoping that somehow, these creepy little microscopic bacteria fighters may be useful to us someday in the future. Number 2. Moth Head Just when you thought it couldn't get much creepier, you take a look at this moth's head. Unless you really want to give your kids some nightmares, it's probably best not to buy them a microscope anytime soon. This electron microscope scan takes a nice side angle so we can see the proboscis. This is basically an elongated sucking mouth part that is typically tubular and flexible. And if this wasn't creepy enough, just don't look at it directly in the eyes. Can't it just wear some sunglasses or something? Number 1. Water Snipe Fly Larva We've seen creepy larva before, but this one here clearly takes the show. You would never spot this thing until it floated into your ear and turned into a fly. These are mostly found in bodies of water near streams and rivers, just waiting for you to take a swim. This thing appears to be the spawn of Lucifer himself, and you really don't want to get in its way. 